there, it's Holly Nicole George, the Twister Sister. I love helping people turn their passions and creative hobbies into businesses. My passion is balloon twisting, and so every week I like to do a free balloon animal tutorial. And this week, we are making miniature top hats. isn't really a balloon animal but I have been giving a lot of requests lately from people that want to learn how to do balloon weaving if you know how to weave balloons you can make top hats baskets even dresses if you get really good at it so this is sort of an intermediate level thing um, definitely not for someone just getting started but it is sort of one of those skills that you do want to have under your belt as you progress as a balloon twister so today we're just going to do a cute little miniature your top hat but we'll be getting the technique of a basic balloon weave at the same time so now weaving does take quite a few more balloons than most balloon animals um, we want to start off with at least five so I've got my colors here I picked a nice little rainbow of colors and I'm gonna be starting off with five I've blown them up about halfway each you don't want to overfill these because we are going to be putting quite a lot of bubbles in them now there are several different ways to get started on your hat. Um, I kind of like to have the top of the hat closed off. And so we're gonna tie our 260s together in pairs. And of course, we'll just have one that's not in a pair since we're using five today. And I'm using all different colors so that it'll be easier for you to follow along and see where the balloons are going in the weave. But once you get good at the technique, you can absolutely do all the same color. So I've got two pairs and then just my single here. I'm gonna twist my two pairs together, just at the knots. And then we're gonna make a pinch twist on this guy at the very beginning. So just twist off a round bubble, take the knot, bring it back down into that twist and wrap it around. And we're gonna take this pinch twist, it's gonna go in the center of our balloons here. And just wrap it in. Okay, so we've got a big starfish. Now at this point, you do want to make sure that the colors are in the order that you want them to be. I love rainbows, and so we're going to line these up so that they are in rainbow order. So we've got pink, yellowish, orange, green, blue, purple. Okay, and now we're going to come out on each balloon. We're going to come out about two or three inches, make a twist. And then you're going to do a small round bubble. We're going to make this guy a pinch twist. And do that for all five balloons. Okay, so that's what we've got going on so far. Now we're going to actually start our weave. So basically what we're doing is we're taking our balloons and we're just connecting them over to the one right beside it. And the real trick with weaving is actually just getting the size of your bubbles correct. So we want this to kind of sit flat. And so you don't want to make these cross bubbles too short or it'll pull everything down. You don't want to make them too big or it'll really kind of push everything up and it'll start to get wavy. So we just want a nice flat top on top of our hat. And so we're just going to bring our balloon over and just kind of measure where it naturally touches the next balloon. Make a twist and then wrap that into your pinch twist. Okay, so we've got our first connection. And now we're going to take the next balloon. We're not going to continue on with this pink one. This one's going down now. We're now going to take our orangish yellow balloon and go across with this one to touch the next one. Okay, and so where it touches, we're gonna make a twist and just wrap it into that pinch twist. And same thing now again, that yellow is gonna go down and green is gonna go across to the blue. So we're gonna do the same thing, wrap it into our pinch twist. And now blue is gonna come over to purple, twist it in there. finish this off by attaching our purple into our pink balloon. So 
So now you can see we have a nice flat sort of wheel that's actually gonna be the top of our little top hat. Now I said this is gonna be a mini hat. It's actually a little bit bigger than I would do it if I was actually making like a cute mini mini hat, but it's easier to learn if you go a little bit bigger. So we're just gonna keep it at this size. So now we've come back to our first balloon that we used, which was our pink. And we're gonna start going down to make the shape of our hat. So you're gonna just make a small round spacer bubble. And now since this isn't a big top hat and it's also not a miniature one, we're gonna treat it like a miniature one though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a very small second bubble and we're gonna turn the second bubble into a pinch twist. And you'll see why we're putting this pinch twist here when we go around and get back to this balloon. But for now, just do it and you'll figure out why later. Okay, so we're gonna come across to our next balloon, which is our yellow, and we're gonna make another small round bubble. Now the trick on this weaving is to make sure all of these small spacer bubbles are the exact same size. That will make your weave look really nice and clean and professional. If these bubbles are different sizes, things are gonna look a little bit wonky and off. So just focus on these small spacer bubbles the most. Okay, so we're gonna come across to our spacer bubble and we're gonna see where our pink balloon kind of touches. But I want my top hat to have a little bit of an inward curve as it goes down to the base of the hat. And so we're gonna make these cross bubbles a little bit shorter each step of the way. So I'm gonna make this one just a little bit shorter than the yellow bubble above it. And then we're gonna twist into the yellow. And now our pink is going down, we're ready to go across with our yellow. We're gonna do the same thing, a bubble that is a little bit shorter than this green one above it. And then another small round spacer bubble here. And we're gonna twist those together. Now the yellow is going down and green is gonna go across. We'll do our small spacer bubble. And then our cross bubble, which is going to be a little bit shorter than the one above it. Okay, green is now going down. We're going across with blue. Small little spacer bubble. And connect. And now we're gonna connect back our purple into the beginning, which is our pink. And we put this pinch twist here so that it's easy to connect. Otherwise, you'd have to like thread things in through the middle of the balloon. And that might be fine for a hat this size, but if you get smaller, and especially if you get into dressmaking, you're gonna wanna have these little pinch twist buttons sort of to help bring everything together easily. Okay, so another, we're just doing a purple bubble, a little bit shorter than this one. And we're gonna finish it off by wrapping it into our little pinch twist. So now we have the second layer on our hat. We're gonna continue doing the same thing all the way down the hat till we have it at the height that we want it. So I'm gonna come down on my purple, two small bubbles here. We're gonna keep all of our pinch twists on the same line. So this pinch twist is going to be purple. And we're gonna turn that second bubble into a pinch twist and now we'll start our weave. Going across, we'll make our small little spacer bubble and then this bubble is gonna be even shorter than this pink one, okay? They're getting smaller as we go down to get a nice curve on our hat. All about the curves. <laughs> so I'm going across and doing the same thing. Just wrapping all our balloons in together, getting smaller as we go down, I'm trying to keep my small spacer bubbles consistently sized and back into our pinch twist. Okay, see how that's going? Now you can also make a cake using the same technique and actually this is the first thing I learned how to do a balloon weave on was a cake from Ralph Dewey back at Tea Jam on the road and like 1984, no, <laughs> not that long ago, but it was a long time ago. So now we're back at our column that has the pinch twist. We've got our blue here now. So we're gonna do a small spacer bubble and then another small bubble, which is gonna be our pinch twist. 
Okay, and now we're gonna go all the way around and I'm gonna make my bubbles just slightly smaller than the ones above them. The spacer bubbles though are always the same size as we go down. Okay, so now you can really see the shape of the hat coming on. And you can also start to see the fun pattern that our colors are making because of the way that we're alternating balloons and switching them as we go. They make a nice spiral around the balloon. So I think I'm gonna do one or two more rows down on this hat, and then I'll show you how to finish it off. So I think this is where I want my top hat to end. It's about a good height, I think. And so when we've done our last row here, you've got this little pinch twist here. I'm just gonna actually put this pinch twist up inside the hat so that now all my balloons on the bottom are going to be facing out, sort of like this. And we're gonna put a brim around the hat with a 360. But before we can do that, we need something to attach our hat to. So we're gonna go around all five of our remaining balloons. And what we're gonna do is come out about one inch, make a twist, and then we're gonna put a pinch twist. So just a small round bubble, and make this round bubble a pinch twist. And now you can break off the rest of these, but I prefer to wait until the 360 is twisted into here. That way you have a little bit more stuff. You can wrap these ends around to hold them off. So I'm gonna go around to all five balloons and do that one inch spacer bubble and a pinch twist on all of them. All right, so now we have some sort of weird robot looking thing with legs. <laughs> well, we're gonna finish this off. It's gonna be a beautiful top hat. So I've got a purple 360 here, which we're just going to uh, start off in any one of these pinch twists. It doesn't matter which one. Just take your nozzle of your balloon, wrap it nice and snug into one of your pinch twists to get it started. Okay, and now just like all the rest of our weaving, we're just going to cross to the next pinch twist over. With the brim of the hat though, you wanna make sure that your bubbles going across are not too short or that will pull your brim of the hat down and you really want it to sit out and up nice and flat. So go. So if you're not sure, make the bubbles a little bit bigger than you think that they need to be and that'll help it stay out nice and flat. So I've gone all the way around. I'm gonna make my last connection here into our long green pinch twist. And look, how cute is this? Okay, so all we have to do now is cut off all these extra little tails that are hanging around the edges and we'll have a beautiful top hat. Ah, check it out, isn't this so cute? Like how cute that is on somebody's head. Oh my goodness. I love making these. It's not really something that I would do, especially in a line work situation, um, but I have done these really pretty little hats at birthday parties. The party moms love these things, like majorly big time. <laughs> Um, also, a decent one for restaurant work as well if you're not slammed. So now let's talk about how you actually wear this thing because chances are it's not gonna just fit on the person's head that you're making it for. There's a very small hole in the middle here and the brim of the hat isn't really going to hold on someone's head very well. Uh, you could use static electricity to keep it on a little bit. But I like to actually attach these to a headband, and so they just put the headband on and the hat is on top. So let me show you how I do that. So we're gonna need two scraps to attach this to our headband. So I've just got two 160s here, and I'm going to thread my scraps on the inside part of the hat, like at this last twist here before we branch out into the brim and I'm gonna try to put them across from each other. Now we have five points, so they're not gonna be perfectly across from each other, 
but we'll get them pretty close. If you have six, you can do it a little bit more even. So I've got my two scraps in the center of my hat, just like that. We're gonna take our headband. We're just gonna place it right there and tie, loosely tie our head onto our headband. Okay, you don't want the, you don't wanna tie this too tight or the balloon might try to push um, the headband up off the head. So I'm just loosely tying these on. Now we're gonna cut off the extra bits because you don't want those hanging down in somebody's hair to get all tangled up. Now we've got our headband attached. I don't know if you can see, but it is kind of loose. There's definitely some give on those 160s in there. And then I like to uh, put it on the head so that you can see this is not exactly in the middle of the hat because it's five connection points. And so one side is gonna have more hat on it. And I like to put that side towards the front of the head. Okay, so that way it looks like it's really hanging over the person's head and it's super cute. You can also kind of offset these off to the side and because it's on a headband, you can you know really get crazy with it if you want to and that's kind of a fun new look too. So I hope you guys like this one. If you do, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Also, if you'd like to see more balloon related videos like this, Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and put out new videos every Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday. So this is a really fun one again for restaurants and low key birthday parties. Not so great for line work. However, if you do a lot of line work events, I do want to give you a free starter menu which you can pick up at the link in the description below. Just type in your name and email so I know where to send it to you. And I will email you this print ready starter balloon twisty menu, which is great for line work situations or for new balloon artists who are just getting started and don't want anything too complicated and don't want anyone to ask them for anything too complicated. Just point to your menu and tell them this is what you're making today, problem solved. Solved. If you've never worked with balloon menus before, this is a great way to try it out for free, see how much more enjoyable it makes working. And then I'll also send you instructions on how to print them, display them, and start customizing them as well if you do decide that you love working with menus, and I know that you will. So again, link is in the description where you can get this starter menu for free. I hope you'll take advantage of that. So that's it for this week's tutorial. I can't wait to see pictures of your hats. So make sure you post your pictures on Facebook this week and tag me or hashtag Twister Sister. And I'll definitely be checking those out. Looking forward to seeing what colors you guys choose and what sizes and how you make yours. Thanks for hanging out with me on your Tuesday and I'll see you guys again next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Bye everyone.